Hey, welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and back yet again with yet another news update for you. We're going to be talking about some new upcoming McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse figures for a new movie. No, it's not The Flash. Flash has come and gone, basically. I still have to see that movie. Maybe catch me on Ahsoka and Brad and Rob's channel coming soon tomorrow night. We'll talk about it. Hopefully I can see it in time. But we're going to be getting new figures for Blue Beetle. But to be honest with you, I'm actually pretty excited for this movie, and I don't know why. It just looks fun. It looks like I can turn my brain off, because I'm not all too familiar with Jaime Reyes as Blue Beetle, and I kind of don't care, you know? So it's more of those, I can just hang out and enjoy whatever they do with the movie, which is amazing. I'd love to be able to do that. But before we get started, if you're interested in any of the figures we're going to be talking about today, I do have affiliate links down in the description below. They may not be available immediately right away, but when they are, rest assured, thank you so much. I appreciate you using them. Now, first and foremost, we are going to be getting a McFarlane Toys statue for Blue Beetle. So this is done in the whole mega figure box. It comes with a big black flat stand. You got Jaime Reyes crouched down doing his Blue Beetle pose, I guess you would say. And he's crouching down on a pedestal. And it's got all the different hieroglyphics and whatnot, the imagery of the Blue Beetle. It's cool. The scarab, whatnot. It's very interesting. I can't honestly say it's for me. But for what they've done, if you want a cool Blue Beetle statue on your desk or in your toy shelf or whichever... It's not too shabby at all. So if you are interested in this one, again, I will put links down in the description below. And much in the vein of all of these sort of mega figures and such, this one will set you back 40 bucks. So not too bad to have a uh, sweet statue if you're into that kind of thing. Now, moving into the action figures, however, that's, uh, that's where uh, we, at least we can talk about things, right? A little bit more in depth. But... We are going to be getting two versions of Blue Beetle. So this one is more Blue Beetle, the standard version, but he does come with several weapon accessories, which I totally appreciate, and a removable Scarab backpack, which I also appreciate. But what I like about this is that you can pretty much recreate everything that we have seen so far in the trailer with the giant sword, which is awesome. Also the fact that the costume is so comic booky, it's really not even a movie figure, and I think that's what's really making me gravitate towards this whole thing, because usually with movie stuff, I'm like, uh, you know what I mean? But at least he comes with all these things, he looks like Blue Beetle should from the comics, and really, you don't really need a, a comic book quote-unquote Blue Beetle for this version of Jaime Reyes, because they've done a great job in that sense. So here he is all packaged up, Again, very excited. You get a couple accessories, you get the sword, you get those discs, you get the backpack, you get a cool articulated figure. And of course, this will be the standard DC Multiverse price of 20 bucks. I know they kind of fluctuated to like 22, but they're sticking at 20. Now with any good blue beetle, you're gonna need a red bad guy, of course, right? So again, this is a character not all too familiar with. Interesting to see what they're gonna do with him in the film which i'm assuming is the bad guy right that's another thing i just shut the just shut it off just enjoy for what they got this is carapax he's the mega figure he comes with extra hands he kind of looks like a jaeger right gypsy danger or whatever from pacific rim hopefully he's not as big right but he's a big robotic iron man suit that's another thing a lot of allusion to Iron Man and, and, and Warmonger and things that's kind of hitting me as well but again not really it's all these comic book movies are kind of blended together but Carapax again if you'd like him he's going to set you back 40 bucks as the big old mega figure but with the mega figure of course you're going to need to escape the clutches of Carapax. And that's where the second version of Blue Beetle comes in. So this is the battle mode winged Blue Beetle figure. Just think of the other one comes with weapons. This one comes with wings. I also really appreciate that they have all these expressive hands in the box. You got a peace sign. You got the finger pointing. You got the thumbs up. That is what I've been asking for with more figures that have come out these days. That's fun. And again... You're recreating the fun of the movie 
and I definitely appreciate it. All those expressive hands are perfect. That's what I want to see. The wings are fantastic. Those are gorgeous looking clear translucent blue wings. Again, the suit looks great. The blues look very metallic across the board. That's what I want to see for a movie tie-in figure. It looks fun. It looks awesome. Blue Beetle hopefully will be a great success. We can see more obscure characters. And again, for me, turn the old brain off and just sit back and enjoy it. Because whatever they do, if it's a good movie... I'm totally going to be down. But they got to put Ted Cord in there, right? Of course, somehow, someway. Poor Ted Cord. But uh, that will wrap it up for my look at the brand new Blue Beetle offerings from McFarlane Toys. Again, if you are interested, I will have affiliate links down in the description below. Thank you for using my links. Very much appreciate it. Again, just to remind you, they may not all be available right now when you see this video, but I'll have them on Instagram, social media. You get the idea. Again, very excited for this movie. I'm actually stoked. The Flash? Yeah. We'll see what happens. This just looks interesting. It looks fun. That's what I'm looking for with my comic book movies these days. So, you've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Blue Beetle. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, let's get some more uh, wackadoo superheroes going, right? Boost your gold. That would be awesome. I think that would make for a really good movie. And when they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.